Hi there guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in, especially after all this time that I've been absent. Um, I have no excuse, I hold my hands up, I'm really sorry. I literally just haven't been filming, I haven't been doing anything with nails for a while except for my own and they've just been always bland and boring. So anyway, here we are today with this gorgeous set that I've done for a friend. She's going away to Budapest for um, a long weekend break and she just wanted some nice, natural, elegant, simple nude nails with an autumnary theme because apparently it's quite cold over in Budapest, so yeah. <laughs> so, um, we're... So yeah, anyway, um, prep first, so obviously prepped all the nails, pushed back the cuticles, went in with my cuticle cleaning drill bit, etched the nail plate gently with a 180 grit file, um, then popped on the tips and shaped those um, and we went for a tapered square, a little bit longer as well than she normally goes for, uh, which was nice. Um, and then we did one coat of dehydrator, one coat of primer, and then literally just before acrylic application on each finger, we did a second coat of primer. Because I like to put the acrylic on to wet primer. I feel that it bonds better that way and I get less lifting. <clears throat> or none, hopefully. <laughs> um, so the acrylic that I'm using here is Neo Nails. Uh, this colour is called Peach Beach, which is just a gorgeous peachy cover pink. Really, really nice. And seeing as she just wanted something nice and natural coloured, this was perfect. So the method that I've been comfortable with lately is the three ball method. So I place my first bead at the cuticle area and I get up as close to that cuticle as I can without touching the skin, patting it from side to side and then just using um, my brush to blend it down the nail and then the belly of my brush to pat it out and make it nice and even. And then a second bead at the free edge and I blend that up and over the nail. Um, making sure that, again that it's nice and even using the belly of my brush to pat it down side to side and then my third and final bead at that stress point to get a good apex and then just obviously using the brush to blend that down the nail <clears throat> um, I just want to take a minute as well uh, say thank you very very much to all of those new subscribers um, I mean you guys have been subscribing to me even though I haven't even been uploading videos which is really really nice because it just shows that you do like all of the older stuff that I, I have done and don't worry I am still going to be doing like nail arty videos as well when I think of some good ideas um, so yeah that's really really great thank you very much guys um, and I hope to get your continued support um, also as well if you are new to my channel this is the first video that you've watched hi and welcome um, if you do like my stuff go ahead and check out more and don't forget to hit the like buttons and also don't forget to subscribe I'd very much appreciate it thank you um, I had trouble with this particular nail it was being a bit of a pain in the bum um, for some reason um, I think I just didn't apply enough or have enough liquid onto my brush when I picked up the acrylic it just kept drying super super quick um, and I just found it really hard really hard to do this one anyway the brush that I'm using as well is um, it's not a branded one, it's just one from eBay. It wasn't the cheapest, but it wasn't the most expensive. I think it was around 12, 13 pounds. Um, and it's just a Kalinsky sable brush. No, it's not Kalinsky. Is it Kalinsky? Oh, it might be, yeah, Kalinsky sable brush. Um, in a size 12. Um, now, I normally find working with a bigger brush easier. Um, I like to get 
bigger beads of acrylic but for this particular set of nails because her nails are quite small I did find a few of them tricky like that pointer finger was tricky and her pinky was tricky yeah so I think I need to invest in a smaller brush for when I do smaller nails like this um, so yeah so once obviously all the nails have dried um, I go in and do my filing work so I go in with my um, nail drill nail file electric nail file God, I can't talk today I don't know what's going on um, and I use a round top drill bit just so I don't catch any of the skin when I'm concentrating on the cuticles and side walls so with my electric nail drill that's what I do mainly is the cuticle and side walls but I do a quick once over on all the nails just to get rid of any lumps and bumps and then I go back in with the hand file 180 grit just to get rid of any lines that the nail drill might have left um, and just to make it nice and smooth um, and I also find as well that for gel application um, I don't know I just find that it sticks better if you've etched over the acrylic um, so yeah and then for the stamping design we went in with an image of the Moira stamping plate which is called Vintage 1 I think there's Vintage 2 now um, and it was just a really gorgeous rose image um, which I've used many many times it's like one of the best ones I've found and I used two Born Pretty stamping polishes one is a like deep burgundy red and the other one a bright orange and I just did um, dots in random places on the stamping plate and then with the scraper just scraped it one way and then another just so the colours mixed together and this is how it came out and then obviously once all that's dried and finished I go in with a um, no wipe top coat from Blue Sky cure that in my LED lamp for one minute and then I apply some cuticle oil and here they are so thank you so much for watching guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And